Okay, we're going to start off with the Pledge of Allegiance. I'd like everybody to uh, stand, please, and remove your caps. When we get to One Nation Under God, uh, typically that is said with a comma in it. Uh, as written, there is no comma, so it should be One Nation Under God, not One Nation Under God. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, One Nation Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Now we're going to have an invocation led by Commander David Gilley. If, uh, if you join us, our most gracious Heavenly Father, we come to thee, Father, in great gratitude for the opportunity that we have here to gather as Americans. We thank thee, Father, for the blessed opportunity that we have to govern ourselves under free laws of our own making. We thank Thee for our singular constitutional order. We thank Thee, Father, for people like Stuart Rhodes who have inspired us and instructed us to come together, those of us who are public servants, and re-recognize the obligation we have by the oaths that we swore to the Constitution of the United States, and to inspire those of us who are private citizens to take more seriously our civic duties and to hold our public servants to the obligation of that oath. Father, we ask thee to bless our efforts. We ask thee to instruct us and teach us humility and courage and patience and forbearance and all the virtues necessary for self-government so that we can peaceably and with patience reassert the authority of law in our country and once again enjoy the fullest blessings of liberty that can only be enjoyed under the rule of law. We ask thee to bless us this day, Father, as we mutually instruct each other that we will make friendships and be inspired with perseverance and determination to do our civic duty and to make our country freer for our children. We ask these blessings in gratitude for the blessings that we enjoy and in humility. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Uh, thank you, Commander Gilly. I have a few notes to uh, start with. First off, uh, do we have any active duty military in the room besides David Gilly? Okay, the, Commander Gilly, the man that just gave the oath, or excuse me, the invocation, is a active duty Navy commander. As a reserve component now. You're a reserve now? Reserve component now, and I'm a CEO of a reserve unit. Can I get a show of hands of how many uh, Oath Keepers we have in the room? Great. Looks like we have probably uh, somewhere around 50. That should leave like uh, 30 to 40 potential Oath Keepers in the room. Thank you guests for coming. Uh, we're really glad that you're here. So the guests we have here, other than David Gilley, are St Stuart Rhodes, our national founder. He's right, uh, just sat down. We are going to have Judge Eugene Lucci from the Lake County Common Pleas Court speak. Also, the other honored guest we have is a gentleman that contributed uh, to our, our uh, fundraising raffle, uh, J.T. McAdams from Carry Safely. Uh, his partner's here too. Where are you at, J.T.? Thank you very much for coming. Thanks for the sponsorship. <laughs>